a long discussion with Shio Gorath, we both agreed that the best way forward was to learn about our enemy's true plan. There was much unrest in Cyrodiil, the seat of power bounced back and forth on the whim of warriors who were able to gather enough of a force to take the inner emperor keeps. This was not ideal for the economy, to have to deal with such a power vacuum for the title of emperor, but this was the design of Shiogorath, to create freedom, adventure, and the power to choose where your adventure takes you, along with the consequence, learning, and ultimately, just simply living. This is how Shio Gorath was helping Tamriel to grow stronger. Through the trials of chaos, bore the fruits of wisdom. This helped shape the strongest warriors, the wisest mages, and the most cunning leaders to continue paving the way forward for all those who live in Tamriel. For only through trial and adversity can one find value in themselves, and this is the gift that Shio Gorath wanted to give us. However, not all believed in this way of living. Many in Tamriel have grown tired of the struggle. They grow tired of learning, thinking, and figuring things out for themselves. They would much rather fall under the control of someone who knows better, be told what to do, how to live, regardless of what it did to their soul, their resolve, and ultimately, their will to fight. Shout out of the week goes out to the Elder Scrolls guy. Great content on your channel, my friend. Keep it up. Now you too have one more subscriber. I pondered this for a moment. I mean, to be free of the burden of accountability, to live life without the worry of carrying the load of others on your own shoulders. I do see the appeal. I even understand why one would want to choose this route. And to be honest, when given full consideration, life would be much easier under the rule of Jigalag. According to Shio Gorath, Jigalag is a master of order, efficacy, and success. He offers the answers to any questions, he knows how to acquire power, wealth, fame, fortune, and can give those paths to anyone who seeks it. Who wouldn't want this for themselves? Available so readily, all you have to do is open your hands and allow it to be placed neatly into your palms. But what would you learn? If you didn't take that journey to get something you wanted, how can you ever grasp the value of the thing you acquire? There are always two sides of it. You can rely on a 50-50 chance of hitting that side consistently. True balance. That's what I believe. So really, if I was to truly align myself with Shio Gorath, what kind of balance would that be? I left Cheesemonger's Hollow with those thoughts and set out to learn more of the followers of Jigalag. Before I left, Shio Gorath said that the best thing to do was to infiltrate Jigalag's army, become one of them, and learn of their weakness so we could overcome them in battle. He told me that this was a journey that I needed to take to truly learn of my destiny. And I didn't argue. I immediately saw value in learning of the ways of Jigalo. For why would I limit my understanding when knowledge is being freely offered? I didn't quite know how to get their attention, so I figured the best way to get in front of Jigalag was to become emperor. And as soon as I finished that thought, a dull, heavy pain hit me from behind. Next thing I knew, I was on my back unconscious. A voice appeared with a vague image saying, I am Darius, the vessel of Jigalag. Rise, Kaji Nomad, and become our vessel. This was it. My journey has led me here, and in this moment, brought forth by fate, I stepped through and accepted it. What do I do? I told the voice. Raise an army, attack strong. Do not yield, and be relentless. Jigalag will guide your way. This power was strange, but it did feel very comforting and even enlightening. I accepted the power and agreed to follow its guide. When I woke, I was back in Cyrodiil, but my focus shifted. I saw things differently. I couldn't see the energy of people anymore. 
anymore. All I could see were calculations, numbers, probabilities, and the undeniable truth that this power felt good. Immediately, I called out in zone and looked at the map. Using the power of Jigalag, I was able to see the best strategy, the best path, and the army I needed to claim the throne of Emperor. The efficiency at which I was able to capture keeps and destroy the opposition was remarkable. As if all fear and hesitation was removed and replaced with the assurance that I would succeed in everything I did. It was easy to take the throne. In fact, all I had to do was tell the warriors of the Covenant that Jigalag has risen and knows what is best for all of us. That if we follow his will, the Covenant will rise above all. Whatever this power was, it was true. For without having lifted a finger, overnight, the Covenant united and crowned me Emperor. I felt the power of an Emperor in the past, back when I was free. But now that I have given myself to Jiglag, the power was multiplied tenfold. There were no decisions to be made, only orders to execute. And Jiglag's orders were clear. Burn down all of Cyrodiil, leave no trace of the old, so that the new regime of order can be born. This was the power that Sheogorath feared, the power of success and having everything you could desire without having worked for it. Despite the fact that I felt strong and powerful, I did feel helpless and defeated. My will was not my own, and the only thing I cared about was the destruction of Cyrodiil and anything that would get in my way. This was the path I chose. I now walk it alone. If I only could have told Saashi that I was leaving, she must be terribly worried about me. No matter, there's no turning back now. The die has been cast and my journey must continue. With each fight and each new conquest, I learn more and more of the proper way to hold the Emperor Keeps once becoming Emperor. In the past, the way all the previous Emperors held the map was to take the entire map, capture every keep and every resource, and take every scroll. Learning from Jigalag, this was not the best way to keep order. The best way was to control only enough Emperor Keeps to maintain power, but to let the other Emperor Keeps be contested by the two other alliances. The reason for this was to create an active presence in Cyrodiil, to have fights always available, since less people would be discouraged by logging into a map all one color. Leaving more territory for the enemy to control gave them a reason to fight amongst themselves. Which meant, whoever controlled the Emperor Seat controlled Cyrodiil and could rule it under the guidance of Jigalag. He will be a formidable opponent. In order to defeat him, I must learn more about being him. That, I must take my place alongside Darius. It is time to leave the Covenant and join the Banner of Red, the Mighty, the Fierce, the Merciless, the Ebonheart Pact. I sure hope Saashi is doing okay.